the Yukon Huskies made it to the Final Four. And unlike everyone else who was there, we actually expected this. Before March Madness, ESPN put out their list of the eight teams that had a chance to win it all in the tournament. And UConn is the only one on that list still standing. And the men of UConn are often outshined by the women on their campus. So we tend to forget just how good they actually are. But they are now the championship favorites. Yet we probably should have paid attention much sooner. And here is why. UConn's men's basketball team is really, really good. But they received a four seed on this year's bracket. The selection committee tends to play favorites. And since UConn rejoined the new Big East, it does appear that they don't get anywhere near enough credit. Believe it or not, they were undefeated in non-conference practically the only team in the nation that can actually say it. And on that schedule, they beat Oregon, Iowa State, Oklahoma State, Florida, and Alabama. And they beat all of them, including Alabama, by double digits. Their conference play has to be the reason why their seeding fell, but that's still a bit political. They lost eight conference games in total, but six of them were to tournament teams which isn't that big a deal in the regular season. Basketball is about scoring points and keeping the other team from scoring. And with the eighth hardest schedule in the entire nation, they dominated. They ranked in the top 11% of the nation in scoring offense, scoring defense, and rebounding. That's just about everything you would ever need to do to win a basketball game. But the UConn men, have competed from the shadows of the women's program for the better part of the past decade. Cause until this year, their women had been to 14 straight Final Four appearances. But don't forget that their men won a national championship within the past 10 years, and that was in 2014. And they're the only team left in the tournament with a projected first round NBA draft pick, and that is Jordan Hawkins. In fact, he's now considered to be a lottery pick, and he's not even their leading scorer. That would be Adama Sanogo, who also leads them in rebounding. And on top of all that, UConn is supposed to win, because they actually have the best players on their roster. Or at least that's what the scouts said about them in recruiting. They are the only team in the Final Four with any recruiting classes in the past three years ranked in the top 10 of the nation because in 2021, they had the seventh ranked recruiting class led by, you guessed it, Jordan Hawkins. UConn is legit and they belong in the final four. And according to the analytics on ESPN, they are the only team that is true about. They are now the favorites to win the title, but that is not enough. Cause with such a gap between them and all the other teams in the Final Four, they can no longer lose the tournament. All they can do is fail to win it. But I'm sure that the men of UConn do not see failure as an option. I'm Coach Rob, and thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more content like this, then please like and subscribe.